Welcome back everybody. Today we're going to be looking at the Pathfinder and other 750 milliliter cups and systems. Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. This is an extension to my main channel, Kent Survival, and here I review the gear that I use there. Now I don't really have a plan for today's video. I recently got a couple of new cups and I thought I'd just talk about them a little bit. Now if I move this aside for the moment, this is the GSI cup. Um, Glacier I think, something like that. Anyway, this is my usual cup and this is a uh, different replacement lid. Uh, actually I don't think the GSI one comes with a lid, but this is generally what I use. Now this, compared to like a mug at home, is still big, but I've always found it pretty good for getting a boil on, things like that, drinking out of. Good multi-use cup, you've seen me use this hundreds of times over the years. Now I've not used it much on the channel, but here is the Stanley cook set mug. This one has a clip-on handle, you put the long end in first, then the short one, and then you can push down with this which usually moves, <laughs> doesn't matter right now. And that's your handle. Uh, the lid, I can't find this moment, too much kit. <laughs> uh, and that's 750 comfortably, holds a bit more. This comes with nesting cups. Now I take the cups out on day trips and stuff like that, but um, I don't tend to use this system. This has been in my emergency bag in the truck for some time. Um, yeah, this certain things like the handle that I'm not too keen on. Uh, it's a bit battered and old this one as well. <laughs> not that that matters too much. But um, yeah, this is where I started to see the versatility in a bigger cup. I then bought one of these. Now this is something I got quite recently. Uh, it's a Chinese one. I don't think it has an actual manufacturer though there's probably other people putting their names on it. Uh, 750 milliliter has a power handle like this bell handle. Um, it's not removable, not easily anyway. And it also has these handles which are very much like on the GSI. So I'm pretty used to that style. Comes with the same style of lid that I use with the GSI. Fits quite comfortably. Uh, stainless steel like the others and one reason I got this is because I knew I was going to get a Pathfinder at some point uh, I thought I'd like to compare them so bringing on the Pathfinder you can see pretty much the same size Pathfinder has more comfortable hand sized handles which is very nice actually um, doesn't have the bell handle has holes instead uh, you're supposed to use a fish mouth spreader I thought, and I think it should, come with the set. I, I do have some, one somewhere, but I cannot find it for the love of me. It's probably with the lid to this somewhere. The handle's a little different. You've still got the steam pouring hole things, uh, but you've also got these slits. So when you've got this fish mouth spreader in there for hanging, it's uh, unimpeded. On this, you have measurements inside. So you've got fluid ounces and milliliters. With this one, yeah, you have the exact same thing actually, so it's a bit of a copy. Now why am I talking about these bigger 750 milliliter um, pots, or 25 ounces I think that is, as far as I can see in there anyway. Um, one reason is if you're eating MREs, hiking food, that sort of thing, this one is a British ration pack one, you can fit it quite comfortably inside with the water to boil it as it's a boil in the bag meal. Um, with a smaller cup like that, you can just about do it, but it's not pretty, you boil over a lot. It's just more comfortable in one of these. So that goes for both these as they're the same size. Another reason you can boil in this and pour into a separate cup. So you've got a couple of these at camp or something like that so you can share the same boil rather than having multiple cups on your fire and another reason you can boil up some water some of that can go in your rehydration mill like a mountain house or something 
and the rest of it can be your cup of tea or coffee um, and you get that from the same boil so you save time in that way as well. So basically what I'm saying is these bigger cups, although they are bigger and obviously heavier, are more versatile but it's going to depend on how you camp and eat and drink and stuff like that. You can probably hear that it is raining here at camp. <laughs> So that's the Pathfinder, the Stanley, which you've probably seen a lot of on YouTube, and the uh, no brand Chinese one. Now, if you're a bit more of a lightweight camper, I've got this uh, Tom Shoe set, which is uh, a set that comes with both a bigger, I think it's 750 about there. You don't know if that leeway as you do with these ones, but it's uh, about 750. It says 500 inside, but you can add extra and you get a smaller GSI type cup as well. Your lid with your steam holes, your handles which are similar to the Pathfinder ones as you put your hands inside, and you've got the bow handle which is similar to the Chinese one here. Uh, so this one's titanium and weighs a hell of a lot less. Uh, I've got no numbers with me today so I'll have to put them on the screen for you guys. Um, so it's not quite as big, but it's nearly there. Uh, but again, you know, it's a nesting set, so you can have a cup to drink out of and um, something to boil with. If I open this one, you've got the same lid here. Got a few bits and bobs in there. But one thing I do have, because I'm not a big fan of titanium, is the old hot lips that go on the side so you don't burn your, your mouth when you're drinking out of it. But yeah, I'm not big on titanium, only if I'm doing a hell of a lot of hiking. So the one other thing I wanted to talk about with these is their bottles. So they're usually one litre bottles. This one's the Pathfinder one that comes with the cup and you'll see that they nest very nicely. Now you will see all of these things are made to nest together. If you've got your uh, GSI that will nest as well. And the reason for that being they're usually made to nest with a, a Nalgene. I don't actually know about a Stanley. No. No, it doesn't take them. So, know that about the Stanley. I do have a Highlander bottle that does nest with it. A little loose. But because it's made to go with its own sort of system, it's a little bit different. But most of them, like these, GSI, they're all nest with something the size of an algae, so that's handy for packing. Also handy if you use one of these kind of uh, bottle pouches on your pack, you can uh, put whatever pot in there. So this one's a little hard because of that fixed bell handle. Yeah, so that handle being fixed is a little tighter fit, so that's something to bear in mind and you can nest in your, uh, your bottle and stick it on your pouch. Now obviously if you've got a bell handle you can use these on a tripod, either one you've made out of wood or like a um, travel one such as the Lomo one. Um, I'm using that today in another video. And it's just another way of using them rather than putting them on the coals or if you don't have a grill. That's pretty much everything I wanted to cover today on these. Uh, this is why the channel is gear and review because I want to talk about gear and how it's used rather than just review individual products. Uh, so you've got lots of different options there. I'll link everything below in the description if I can find it all. Um, yeah, various options and how you benefit from them basically. Uh, hope you found that interesting. Thank you very much for watching and um, I'll see you on the next one. Goodbye.